much. And then God did this crazy thing that I thought, what in the world would you do this for? God was like, I'm calling you to preach the gospel. I'd already been telling everybody about Jesus everywhere. I knew I was an evangelist, but I just thought I was like a business owner that loved to talk about God. But I was talking about God all the time. And I was so excited about it. So God started using me to preach the gospel on Pensacola Beach for years. And I don't do it for money. You know, I do it just because I've been forgiven much and I love God. And I cannot wait to see Jesus, the one that died for me. He is so good. And I just compel you today to, to hear and listen that God does have a plan for your life. And He wants you to come home. I'm telling you, let the walls of your heart down and let Father come in. Because He is what matters. He's the one that truly cares about you. And I love you too. If nobody said they loved you today, I love you. Thank you. Remember, when you judge, you shall be judged. You're really judging yourself, right? And so I forgave. I went and forgave them. And, and you know, God had already forgiven me because I forgave them at the time that He showed me this. But it took away that emptiness that I had. That boy is gone. Is that boy or emptiness gone inside of you now? Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a vision while I was at the Brownsville Revival after I was a born-again Christian of my birth mother. We were in a long worship service, and my birth mother at uh, 17 years old was holding me. And Jesus was standing there uh, watching her holding me. And he was patiently waiting for her to hand uh, me to Jesus. And when Jesus held me for the first time, he looked at me and said, my little evangelist. So I've known, uh, you know, just that God always had a plan for me. And my plan was to be a preacher for him. Uh, God had to give me his identity, what he created me for. He took my mess, made a message. He, he never saw me as a mistake, but my whole life, the devil tried to convince me I was a mistake. But I read wow. Psalms 139. I am fearfully and wonderful. God of the Bible. Go ahead, sister. Preach it. Preach it. Go. The Bible declares that there is only one name given to man under heaven which we can be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man or woman or child goes to the Father except through Him. Jesus is the door. Enter through Him. He stands at your heart and He knocks. Will you open it? Behold the Lamb of God crucified. Look up at the Lamb of God hanging on the cross, bloody, scorned, mocked, naked, and nailed to the cross. Why? Because of the sins of the world. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but through Him you can be saved. I can be saved. Christianity is about grace. It is about grace and mercy. We don't deserve the mercy of God. And Jesus knew that. That's why He came to drink the cup of God's wrath, to hang on the cross. Muhammad admitted he was Isa, a sinner. Isa. Jesus is the